Hello Facebook, it's Liz again, and here we are on another Friday Live. I hope you can join me, and if you're here, say hello in the comments. I'm super excited today because we are doing another crochet along block party. So I always love when we have our block parties, and the winner for, G for the June block party is the In Bloom Square. And here is a photo of my square, but I have something better. I have an actual square that I made, and here it is. So this is a square that I made for the June block party, and we're gonna make this together today, step by step. So I hope you were able to print the pattern ahead of time and join me. And while I wait for people to hop on and say hello, I'll show you the other blocks that we've done. So this is the block that we did last month. This one was from May. We did this one together, step by step, and there's Evelyn, hello Evelyn. And this is the one that we did um, the month before, which was April. <laughs> and this is the Princess Puff. And Jody said, hi, I, sorry Jody, I was a minute late, but I'm here now. So hopefully uh, nobody misses it. And, and there's Joyce, okay good, Joyce is here. And Tara, I, I'm not sure I can say that one, but hola. <laughs> I'm glad everyone is here. Sorry I was a couple minutes late, but no, we are doing this block party today. I would not miss this block party. And I just wanted to say before I get going, if you missed any of the previous block parties, if you go to the Annie's Facebook page, we have a, um, um, if you go under videos, there's a playlist. That's the word I was trying to think of. <laughs> there's a video playlist and you can watch all the previous block parties if you missed any of the old ones. And there's my friend Donna and Michelle, and hi Susan, Susan's here, great. So I am not gonna talk too much today. This way I'm gonna move my phone because we are working through this step by step, and it's seven rounds, so I don't wanna take too much time here. And there is Michelle. Okay, so as you join, I'm gonna just put my phone while I'm talking. As you join, just say hello. Let me know where you're uh, joining from. And if you're following along with me for the block, um, you know, you can ask me any questions as we go. Or if um, you know how sometimes when I talk, I miss something. <laughs> so if you see that I missed anything, just um, let me know because I'm going to keep keep up with the comments. So if I missed a stitch or missed um, a row, hopefully I don't miss a whole round, let me know. <laughs> and there's my friend Francis and Isabel from Long Island. Hi, Isabel. And Indira is here. And Carol. Hi, Carol. So here's the block we're working today. We call this one the In Bloom. And Annie's Facebook, go to videos and block parties. Is that correct? Yeah, so exactly. Go to videos and then go to the playlist that's called block parties and that has all the old ones. And each one that I've done, and I do another one every month, um, so you can join every month. It's the first Friday of the month. We'll have the free pattern that goes with it. So you can print out the pattern ahead of time and um, work, work along with me. And there's a link. So the one that I made is with a cotton worsted weight yarn, but we're gonna work with just a regular worsted weight yarn because I thought it might show up better on camera. And Judy's here from Florida. Hi, Judy, and Marianne from Massachusetts, and Llewellyn from Oregon, and there's Robin from Florida, and there's Chess and Jean. Hey, everyone, I'm so glad you guys can make it. Okay, so we're gonna start out with Here's my pattern, and like I said, I'm gonna go through step by step. I'm using my five millimeter hook. This is my Susan Bates, I love this one. And let's start with the sort of light yellow color here. So for round one, I hope everybody's ready to get started. Uh, we're gonna start with my H hook, and we're gonna chain six and slip stitch to form a ring. So if you've made any type of granny squ square before, you know that we do this a lot. We do a chain and then we slip stitch to form a ring and then we work inside of the ring. So that's how we're gonna start. And Francis says, so pretty. Yeah, this one's really pretty and I like it too because it has like some nice texture here. See this petal sort of comes, it's very textured and it looks like a flower is just laying on there. So really pretty. So I got some thumbs up for this, for this block. So I'm glad everyone likes this. And this was the winner. There was this one and another one that was called Rose Petal, which was really pretty too. Um, but this one was the winner. So 
we're doing this one. So we're starting with a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Now to make my ring, we're just gonna go back to that first chain and slip stitch right into there. And that makes a ring. So now that we have this pretty little ring, we can work right all of our stitches right inside that ring. And hi, Valerie, and hi, Valerie from Ohio says, I love this, thank you, you're welcome. Crochet, really? Yeah, this is crochet. <laughs> so Linda, we do crochet here every Friday on Annie's Facebook page, we do another little crochet tutorial. So now we're gonna start with our um, 15 double crochet. So we're gonna chain up three, that's gonna be our first double crochet, one, two, three. And then we're gonna work 15 double crochet right into that ring that we made. So we should have 16 total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and if you're very new, this is a double crochet. It's just yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. So you're pulling through two twice, and that's what makes it a double crochet. Okay, so let me see what I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I need 16. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Just squeeze all of those right into there. I'm using a size five hook. This one's my size five. And this is a worsted weight acrylic yarn. This was just something I had in my stash. I have a lot of this one. <laughs> And Valerie likes the color combination, and there's Nelly. And what size? Okay. All right. So remember, guys, if I miscount, let me know. Okay. So now we're just going to slip stitch to join this, and that's one, two, three. And then we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain that we made. And of course, we're working in rounds, so we're just going to keep going around and around to make a nice square. So now for row two, we're gonna chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, chain five, skip the next stitch, sing, and then this is in brackets, single crochet in the next stitch, chain five, skip the next stitch. Okay, so the, the one that's in brackets, we're just gonna do that all the way around. So it starts with a, cha with a chain one and single crochet. So chain one and single crochet right into that same space that you, that you came out of, okay? And then we're gonna chain five and skip the next stitch. So this is the stitch that we're skipping and we're gonna work another single crochet into there. So one, two, three, four, and five. Skip this one and single crochet into there. So far so good, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to just do this all the way around, chain five, skip, and single crochet. And Charlene says, where do we get the patterns? And on the, um, in the description of this video, you can print this pattern. So there's a link. You just click on the link, and you can print the pattern. And the same for the previous ones. You just go to um, the video, and if you go to the description, we put a link in there so you can print it out. Skip and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Hi from Cyprus. Hello there from Cyprus. So far we're on um, round two. If you want to follow along and we're making the in bloom square one two three four five the pattern is in the description there's a link in the description if anyone wants to print it out and real quick for anyone who just jumped on this is what we're making 
And we've got another link right there in the comments, so. Okay, so now this, we should end up with the last stitch to skip, which is right there, okay? And we should have eight of these petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm gonna skip my last one and make my last petal, so that makes eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? Now, here's my first single crochet that I made, and we're just gonna slip stitch right into there. So, insert your hook, yarn over, and then pull through there, and pull through there to slip stitch. And that is it. Tammy says, what is it for? I would make um, an afghan out of this. I think this would make a nice afghan. Um, I don't know what else you could do. You could probably make like a big uh, bag. That might be cute. <laughs> but de definitely an afghan because it's got this nice pretty flower texture. Okay, so now we're on round three. And okay, so here we have to fasten off. So we're just gonna cut this one, start a new one. Hi, Allie. Hi, Charlene. And Jeannie here says pillows. Yes, pillows. Good idea. Thank you. That's a good idea. So now I'm going to start with, let's do the purple. Because for round three, we're going to join a new color. And it says join the next color in any chain space and then chain two. And that counts as the first half double crochet. And then we're going to do this, which is in the parentheses. And then this is basically the same thing in the parentheses, and it says do that each in each space around. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's a lot of words, but I'm gonna show you what it, it looks like. So I like to join my, when I join a new yarn, you don't have to do it this way. I just like to do it this way where it's the slip, st uh, slip knot is already on the hook. Um, and any chain space, so any of these little petals that we made, we can just join right in there. And try to join over on the right because we're gonna work a bunch of stitches in here. So you're gonna have to squeeze in a bunch. So try to get over to the right. This is how I do it. I just have a slip stitch on there and then I can, then it doesn't fall, fall off. Okay, so we're gonna chain up two and that counts as the first half double crochet. There's Fran. Hi, Fran from Minnesota. Good to see you again. And Pat says it would make a beautiful pillow pet from, from Jacksonville. <laughs> You're welcome for doing this. I hope you can um, crochet along with me. And if you can't right now, you can always watch, watch the replay and make these. This would make a really cute pillow. So that's going to be my first half double crochet. And then I'm going to work another half double crochet. And remember, we're going to squeeze a lot of stitches in here. So let me show you how this looks. We're going to do four double crochets. One, oops, two, three, and four. And now we're going to do a pico. And I'm going to show you what that looks like if you've never done a pico. And we're just gonna chain up three. So after you've completed that fourth double crochet, we're gonna chain up one, two, and three. And then we're just gonna go right back into, see this is sort of the top of the last stitch that we just worked. You're just gonna go right, I go into this side stitch here, right into there, and then slip stitch through there. And that makes a little like this part. It makes these little sort of peaks on the top. Super easy. So there's our pico. And then we just do four more double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, followed by two half double crochets. Teodoro says, hello, hello there. We're doing the in bloom Afghan square block. Um, if you just joined us, there's Josefina. And for, thank you for explaining. You are welcome, Josefina. And Cindy says double or half double. So Cindy, it goes like this, two half doubles, four doubles, a pico, four doubles and two half doubles. So I hope I did that right. Like I, you guys know when I talk, sometimes I mess up. <laughs> and, and Jackie says hello from Parksville. Hi, Jackie. 
British Columbia. Okay, so now I'll show you this again. We're gonna do this a bunch of times. So if you miss that, here we go. We're gonna do it all the way around. So it's half double, which is just yarn over and then pull through all three of the loops on your hook. And then four double, which is one, two, three, and four, and there's Carla from Louisiana. Hi, Carla, I like that gator, that's cute. And Marsha's watching from Nevada, hi, Marsha. So now we're gonna do our Pico. So see, I just pop it right back into this sort of side of the stitch right here. And make my little Pico. And then do another four double crochet. Three, and I think that was two, that was three, and that's four, and then my two half double crochets. So it's the same all the way around. And there's Jeannie from British Columbia, Canada, and there's my Aunt Debbie, hi Aunt Debbie. <laughs> and there's Sissy from Oklahoma, hello everyone. Okay, so give me a thumbs up or a heart if you like this so far. So far, so good. I think we're doing good on these rounds. I've got all my stitches in and I think it's pretty uh, easy to explain this one. This is a good one. And we've done a Pico if, if um, you haven't seen one of those. So I think we're doing pretty good so far, right? And there's Becky from New York. Hi, Becky, and Margo and Melissa. Everyone is here. If you're just joining, grab the pattern. And uh, it's a free pattern. You can print it out and make this pretty in bloom Afghan block. So two, and right now we're on round. Which round is this? We are on round three. And it just goes like this two half double crochets that's one and that's two and four double crochets hi Donna from New York State one two three and four and there's Nancy from the thumb of Michigan <laughs> okay so we're gonna do our Pico and we were saying this would make a nice afghan, maybe a nice pillow. If anyone else has any more ideas, put them in the comments. What could we use this pretty, pretty square for? The first one I did was in a cotton yarn. This one's in, a, in an acrylic yarn, so you can see the difference. I like the cotton. You know, it might even make a cute little, um, maybe like a dishcloth scrubby type of thing. That might be cute in the cotton yarn okay so dub half double half double and uh, okay so Kathy's here from New Mexico hi Kathy I'm so happy you can join me and Vail is here and okay so the other square she wants the pattern for the other squares and there's Melissa from Missouri so Viola you just need to go over to the Annie's Facebook page and there is a playlist and it says block party and all of the the previous block parties are there in that playlist um, if you miss the previous ones but uh, if you and the the pattern for this one is in the description and every month the first Friday of the month we do another block party so if you miss the previous ones make sure you tune in for the the next ones okay I think I let's see what I did here so Double, double, double. I think I did one too many. There we go, pretty vest. Oh yeah, vest, good idea. Patricia says hi from Clifton, New Jersey, hi. And Antonio says Hermoso. Antonia, okay, so here's my Pico. And now after we do the pico we do four more half double or four more double crochets two three four five and Viola, there's a link too right there in the description if for this pattern 
So you can just click on that link and print out the, the PDF. So Susie's here from Ohio. Hi, Susie. One, two, we're on row. We're still on row three. This is probably the longest row because we're squeezing a lot of stitches into these little chain spaces. Three and four. But this is what makes those pretty little petals around the middle that sort of pop out and give it this nice texture. One, two, three, and four. And then two half double crochets. And if you need to squeeze more in, you just move, push those stitches over and squeeze in whatever you need to squeeze in there. Uh, she couldn't crap. I <laughs> couldn't find the live until now. Sorry, Melissa. I th I was a couple minutes late. Um, yeah. So we probably started. So you may have look, been looking at twelve, and I think I started like at twelve oh five. So I apologize for that. But we're on round three. So if you printed your pattern, um, you know, you can always just get started with me here and then if there's anything that you are not sure about you just watch the replay because there's one part of this pattern that I was when I first saw it I said how is this like this made me wonder hmm how do you do that but I'm going to show you it's pretty cool it seemed like it would be harder than it is but it wasn't so here's my pico almost done here we're down to the next to last petal two, three, and four, and one, and two. And once you watch me do it, you'll you'll be able to do it. I have to run, but I'll check in next week. Okay, bye, Deb. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'll see you next Friday. And Joan is here from Ireland. Oh, good. I'm, I'm relaxing. Good. I should try to relax myself more. <laughs> Thank you, Joan. I'm glad you're here too. Okay, we're down to the last petal. One, two, and then one, two, three, four. But you know, you're right. This counting is so relaxing to me. That's one of the things that I always tell people about crochet that I love so much because it's just very, very meditative when you just have to focus on your stitches and you focus on counting and you are really able to clear your mind. And I just love that. And then at the same time, you're creating something that you're gonna love or someone that you give, gift it to is gonna love. So it's really a great, and everybody here knows how great crochet is. That's why we're all here, right? <laughs> Hi, Vicki from Nebraska. But if, you, if you're just happened upon this video and you're new to crochet, you should definitely, definitely um, learn it and, and uh, make it your hobby because it's the greatest, the greatest hobby. Okay, so that is round three. Now we are going to join in the second chain of the beginning chain two, right? Okay, so one, here's the first chain and there's the second chain. We're just gonna join with a slip stitch right there and we're not going to change colors yet for round four we're going to work behind the last it says work behind the last round around the single crochet on round two join the next color with a back post single crochet around any single crochet on round two chain five back post single crochet around next single crochet on round two and then chain five so that was a little confusing to me but i'm going to show you how to do it okay what color purple is that and <laughs> uh from fitzgerald georgia ah look look what i did i just lost the label this was something that i had in my like stash so i don't know what purple it is but it's this yarn i love this yarn and if you go this is the um from hobby lobby they have a lot of different um purples they have like every shade of purple you could think of but i i apologize i don't know the name of this one okay so i actually we are changing color here so let's just fasten off this purple and I'm gonna get this pretty green and I'm gonna show you how we do this part here that looks like, it looks like it's wrapped around that stitch. 
and it is sort of, but it's easy to do. And Melissa says, I'm new to crochet and I'm obsessed. And that's what happens is whoever starts it, it becomes an obsession. It's just the way it is. Everyone will tell you. <laughs> you can't stop. Once you start, you can't stop. And there's so many fun things to learn, and there's uh, so many great resources out there. So you really will um, never run out of things to make. And Deanna says, thank you from Oklahoma. You're welcome, Deanna. Okay, so now watch this. This is a little tricky. So this is how I, like I said, I usually start with my uh, slip knot already on my hook. That's how I like to start it. I feel like I don't lose the yarn that way. So now we are starting in this round here. So this is round two. And this is that single crochet that we made in round two. And we're going to wrap our yarn around that single crochet. And it looks like this. So it's going to be a back post single crochet. So all we do is come in from the back, right? And then you're going to, so move your hook from the back to the front and then back again towards the back. And you're going to have to rotate your work, just like totally rotate it like this. So all this gets out of your way and you're just working around this single crochet. And then you just yarn over. And see how that helps to have the slip knot already on the hook? Because now I just yarn over again and finish my single crochet. And that's it. And then it makes that little wrap around. And Marco says, I already have three projects waiting. <laughs> yeah, me too. More than three, probably. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're just going to chain five. And remember, this should be behind your big petals. So if you're over here in the front, you've done it wrong. Make sure your this chain is supposed to be behind these this last round that you did. And then we're going to do the same thing. So find that other single crochet, which is right there, and rotate your work. I have a lot of pieces coming out. Just we'll, we'll weave those in at the end. Just rotate your work so you're going. You're basically going from back to front and then from front to back, right? but you're rotating your work so you can see it better. And then you just make a single crochet right there. One, two, three, four, five. So this is called a back post single crochet, which this is the only pattern I've seen this in, um, but it's basically just working the single crochet around the post and you're coming in from the back. So you want your this round to be in back of the previous rounds. One, two, three, four, five. Carol says hi from North Carolina. And there's Nadine is watching. I see Nadine watching. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do us another single crochet around this post. Nadine is my sister, that's why I'm laughing. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do another single crochet around this post. And then one, two, three, four, five. Just stumbled on you, glad I did. Great, Melissa, I'm glad you did too. And we, are, we do this block party um, at the first Friday of the month, but I'm I'm live every Friday on Annie's Facebook page at 12 Eastern time for another tutorial. So hopefully you can start joining me on Fridays. Okay, so here's the post. And I wanted to ask everyone, have you seen this before? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you've seen a back post single crochet. This is the first time I've made a back post single crochet. Or you can give me a thumbs up either way. <laughs> Michelle says hi from Albany can I do a whole afghan in this pattern you absolutely can do a whole afghan in this pattern and I think it would look so pretty you could do it all in the same colors or you could alternate your colors a little bit um, but yeah it would look great two three four five afghans like this where you have um, all these different colors are fun because you can sort of change up the color a little bit and you get sort of bored working with the same color. And then when you get to change, it looks pretty. 
And Eileen says, new to me. Yeah, new to me too. It was new to me. I haven't seen a back post. I mean, back post uh, double crochets and trebles we do all the time, like with cables and stuff, but I never saw it with a single crochet. And what what the way it turns out is really pretty. It looks like, when I first looked at it, I said, what do you have to do? Like take um, a needle and just wrap the yarn around there or something and tie it in a knot. That's what it looked like to me, but nope, it's just a simple single crochet. So really cool. It's pretty hard with crochet. I pretty hard. Well, okay, so crochet. Yeah, so fun. <laughs> Our Tina says, love it. Yeah, I love it too. It was really fun. So that was easy to do, easier than I thought it would be. And now we're going to, we finished that round. That was round four. And now for round five, but let me just join here. So here's where I started. So we just join this round uh, anywhere in that first single crochet that you made. So just join that with a slip stitch. Okay, so now we're on to round five, and it says slip stitch in the first chain. So we're working, we're still sort of working behind these petals. So just kind of push those out of your way. And here's the first chain. So we're gonna slip stitch right into there. And then we're gonna chain three and work six double crochet in here, okay? So that was my first one, and that's one, Two, so there should be seven total. Four, five, and six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I know you started, but I'll keep watching because I want to see. Chris says, oh, you missed how I started. Okay, so um, Chris, just get the pattern and then um, keep watching, and then if you missed anything from the beginning that you, that you don't understand from the written pattern, um, just go back and watch the replay, because the only part that I found tricky was that back post single crochet, so that might, it, it might be really helpful to see how I did that. Okay, so now we're gonna make a corner, so we're gonna turn this into a square. So in the next chain, the, I started out with seven double crochets in the first chain. Now in the second chain, I'm gonna do three double crochets and then a chain three, one, two, three, and then three more double crochets and that just makes my corner. So remember, whenever you make a corner, you have to increase your stitches or else your work will no longer be flat. It will start to be like a cylinder. It'll curl up like a bowl. So we always have to make our corners and we make our corners using increases, which can either be just adding extra double crochets or it can be adding chain spaces. There's a lot of different ways you can make a corner. And this one's pretty simple. It's just three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. One, two, three. And now I'm working my side again. And the side is seven double crochets in that chain space. And remember, that's that chain five that we did on the previous round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why does it have a chart? How did the instructions go? Yeah, the instructions are only written. Um, so that's why you might have to watch the video. And some people love charts. I personally love charts, um, but some people are still still have trouble with those. So that's why it's always helpful to see someone do it because it kind of clicks in a way that the words just don't always click. Okay. Years ago, I made a rose garden. Oh yeah, I bet that was beautiful. Yeah, this, I love um, flowers. So many different flowers you can make in crochet. If you like flowers, you, I mean, the possibilities of flowers are endless and they do make really pretty um, afghans and things like that and embellishments and you can put them on hats, you can put them on bags, all kinds of fun things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's my, <laughs> Jane says I hate charts. Yeah, I hear that all the time. I, I think, um, a lot of people are not comfortable with charts. So that's why, but a lot of people are not comfortable with the written word too, because sometimes it gets a little wordy and confusing. So that's why we love to, to watch videos because as soon as you see someone do it, it just really clicks. Okay, that's my corner. Where am I here now? 
Um, wait a minute. Let's see what I did here. Oh, look, no, corner, side, corner, side, corner, side, and then this should be. Um, let's see. Susan says, I love both. I like, yeah, charts and watching. Okay. Just want to see. I think I messed something up here because this should be a corner, side of the corner. One, two, three. Let me see how this looks. So I don't know what I did, you guys, but it looks like I added. Let's, let's check the back. Let's see. I have a corner and then a side and then a corner and then a side, a corner and a side, and I'm missing something. But that's okay because I have one, I have another one that I worked, and I probably miscounted like, I think you ended too soon. You needed to do one more loop. Yeah, I think that's right. So I, I missed a, a chain five loop, right? So right, that's why I said in the beginning, <laughs> if you see me miss something, let me know because sometimes I talk and I miss things. However, that's okay because look what I have here. I already started this other one before we came on, so I can just proceed from here. And this is the exact same colors that I was using and I have the correct amount. So if you end up and it's wonky like that and you're like, hmm, I shouldn't have, you shouldn't have two sides or two corners together. It should be like this. Two, a corner and a side, a corner and a side, a corner and a side, a corner and a side. So then you know that you did something wrong and you just have to go back and rip it out and go around again. So, good. So this one is good. So we can proceed. Luckily I had this. But that's the thing with crochet, especially when you're doing squares like this, you can, you, if you made a mistake, you'll know it. You usually know it before you go much further when you do granny squares or afghan blocks. Okay, so now we did all the corners properly and that was round five. So now for round six, we're just gonna double crochet in each stitch around, and we're gonna do double crochet, chain three, double crochet in each corner, and then join to the third chain. So this is easy. Love written, have always avoided charts. I also did a flower way back, and it was in middle school. Yeah, the flowers are nice. Yeah, see, I, I find that, um, it's, too, it's small enough to rip, yeah, it's small enough to rip out. And like I said, you, you know it if you, if, you, if your corners are like that, you know that you messed it up. So you just rip it out and go back. Sometimes if you're doing um, rows, it's not always that easy. You don't know it until maybe like 10 rows down the line. But when you're doing squares, if your square is not square, then that's a you know dead giveaway that you've done something wrong. Okay, so now for this round, we're just doing double crochets all around in each double cro crochet, so this is super easy. We're working one double crochet into each of the double crochets. Okay, now there's my corner. So for the corner, we're just gonna do double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. And then double crochet in each stitch around and we keep the same color here in this round. And Nancy says written patterns for me. Yeah, it's funny. I love charts. I'm I'm totally into the charts. They're easier for me than the than the written. And what I love about charts too is I have these um you can buy books in 
other languages, like you can buy crochet books. The Russian ones or the Japanese ones are really beautiful. They have some like amazing things. And um, if you can read those charts, you can usually figure out how to make, how to make the pattern. So I like that. Love videos too. Yeah, videos are always helpful because once you see it on video, it makes a lot more sense than, than doing it, um, you know, than just looking at words. Because <laughs> the words you don't see, you don't see what's happening. It's just words. So that's why I, I think charts are, are good for me. I, I, I can sort of see what's happening in a chart. But it's great that we have all those different, uh, different tools and resources to learn from. Okay, so here's my corner. One, two, three, double crochet. And this is easy because we're just working a double crochet in each double crochet around. Videos. And if you're just joining, if, you, if you're new, um, we do a live every Friday at 12 noon Eastern right here on Annie's Facebook page. And I do a different tutorial every week, every Friday. Uh, usually I'll do something from Crochet Magazine or Crochet World Magazine or something from Annie's Creative Studio. So it's always a different tutorial. And this, uh, the blocks are the first of the month. Okay, and we're down to the last. Okay, so there we go. That was simple. We just did a double crochet in each double crochet, and then we made th those corners. So now we're going to join with a slip stitch in the one, two, third chain of the beginning chain three. And then we fasten that off. <laughs> I, I, well, don't feel inadequate because you saw how I messed up the last one. <laughs> so definitely not perfection here. Okay, so that was round um, six. We are down to the last round. Now we're going to join the next collar in any corner space and chain four. That's a treble. And then we're going to do a treble, chain three, two trebles, and that's in parentheses, so that all goes in the same space. When you see the parentheses, that means it all goes in the same space. Uh, and then we're going to start with between the stars, which is the repeat. So let me just start before I read too much and get myself confused. What size hook are you using? I am using a size five. So I always start with my slip knot already on my hook and we are gonna join in any chain space, any corner chain space. Okay, so here we go. And we're just gonna chain up four, one, two, three, and four. Make sure I stay in camera there, that's a treble. And then we're gonna do another treble, so that's yarn over twice. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, three times, that's why it's called a treble. And chain three. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, your pace is perfect. Especially, you'll see, when you work a bunch of double crochets, you get, you get faster. And, okay, skip next stitch, and then three. Okay, so we're going to skip this stitch, and now we're going to work three front post double crochets around the next stitch. Okay, so here's the one we skip. Here's the one I'm going to front post double crochet. So now I'm going to yarn over. And instead of, remember back post, you come in from back to front, we're doing front post. So we're gonna come in from the front to the back and we're gonna push this um, stitch out. So if it's a front post, you want it pushed out to the front. If it's a back post, you want it pushed out to the back. So yarn over, grab that post, and then we're gonna work three double crochets around there. So that's one and, whoops, that's, two, and that's three. And then it says, 
skip two stitches and then do that again. So we're going to skip, skip, and then work three, one, two, and three. Skip two again, work three double crochets. One, two, and three. So we're basically just doing this around. We're just doing the skip two, and then work three double crochets around that, post double crochets. One, two, and three. And then when we get to the corner, we skip the next stitch and then we do the corner. Okay, so treble, treble, chain three, treble, treble, That's it. Okay, so see how it makes makes it just sort of more, it just gives it more texture with these little post stitches there. One, two, three, four, five. Let me make sure I have the right amount. One, two, three, four, five. So that looks right. And that is the last round. So we just keep doing that around. I'm going to finish with everyone since we're here. And maybe if you're working along with me, Okay, so now we skip two, work three post stitches, three, skip two, that's one, two, and three. Skip two. And if anyone makes this uh, pedal, um, not pedal, block, I would love if you post a picture on um, Facebook, on the Annie's Facebook page, or um, you know, in the crochet group, if you're part of the crochet group, wherever you wanna post it, you know, or on your page and you can tag us, just uh, post a picture if you've made any of the blocks for the, um, the, the block parting. So I love to see what people have made. And I think it's helpful to do this together because like we were saying earlier, if you, you know, when you actually see it, it can um, really clear, clear things up and make it simple. So if anybody really makes just one or two of these blocks or if you make a whole afghan, that would be amazing. But yeah, definitely, um, post a picture so we can see, so everyone can see. And I always tell everyone too, um, if you are not already part of the Annie's Crochet Facebook group, head over there and join the group because we've got lots of lots and lots of crocheters who um, always post their makes and they ask questions and people give advice and it's lots of, um, it's a good community if you ever have any questions or just need advice on something or if you just wanna chit chat with other crocheters. Um, it's a big group and it's a lot of fun. So you can do the Annie's Crochet Facebook group. And Pamela says, this is my first visit from Indiana. I joined the Kit Club. So glad to see, oh good. I'm glad you joined the Kit Club and the Kit Club has videos too. So if you ever get stumped on one of the the blocks from the kit club. There's a video for each and every one of these. And we do this block um, every month at the first Friday of the month. But I'm here every Friday at 12 noon with another crochet tutorial. Okay, so here's my skip two. It looks like I'm right on track here because when I get to the corner, I should skip one. I should skip one stitch, which is that one, and then do my trebles for my corner. Just 
just going to watch a few weeks first, <laughs> if it's okay, as I have to buy wool from somewhere. Of course, I have to get. Yeah, so watch. There's so many videos, Chris. So many videos um, from start to finish. So if you go to Aunt, the Facebook pages or even if you just go to Annie's catalog uh, homepage, there are... There's a section with a whole bunch of stitch guides. So all kinds of stuff for beginners and advanced. Um, you know, every resource that you need is, is out there. So it's a great craft. And like we were saying earlier, once you get started crocheting, it becomes an obsession. <laughs> okay, so we've got two. We're almost to the end of this round, my friends. So if you stuck around here for this whole block, thank you so much. And I am so happy that you were able to. And I hope I can, can see some pictures of everyone's block. And I hope that you really got some value out of this. Um, it looks like we're right on track because we skipped this last stitch here and then we just, we're just gonna join to our first treble. So join there. And Kathy says, my name is Kathy, I joined the club, I'm waiting for my first package. So when you get your package, Make some blocks and uh, put some pics on the Facebook group. Don't forget to join the Facebook group so we can see how you are. We've got a lot of uh, members in the crochet group who do the kits. So they're always posting pictures of kits. And if anyone, if you have any questions or whatever, there's lots of, um, lots of people who are in the kit club. So what do you think? I think it turned out pretty good. This is the acrylic one and this is the cotton one. So you could see not too much of a difference. You could do this with really any yarn that you have. It would be great to uh, use some scraps that you have around if you just have scraps of one color because you can just do any colors that you want to with this. Now I'm going to so everyone, I'm so happy you joined me today and thank you for sticking around for the whole block. That was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you got some value out of it. And please post a picture if you do any of the blocks. And don't forget to join me next Friday at 12 Eastern time for another free crochet tutorial. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. It was great to chat with you today. Bye, thank you.